Hello and welcome to Consciousness Architecture. As things are coming along, it actually starts to get much more sense and also we're getting much more insights. So Consciousness Architecture is connected to one of the most important ingredients and I want to say the mystic ingredients of the cosmos, of everything there is, of life, of the soul, of source. And so consciousness architecture is actually the insight, the mystic ingredient to creation. How did we do it all? And how can we now come back into it? So what is the significance of consciousness architecture coming to me now over these last couple of years? Because for the first time, we actually have access again to totally align. So this evolutionary shift is not just from 3D to 5D, from Homo sapiens to Homo luminous. It is really about we are able to align again to creation, to source, to soul, and align in a way that we are in harmony. Alignment can also have very different nuances. But this alignment is really a sacred and a divine alignment that really brings us back to the essence of all. So this is consciousness architecture in essence. So once we can have this alignment again, so the cosmos is supporting us, what I call the cosmic vibes, which are energy, which are frequencies, which is light, which is vibration. And yes, sound plays a huge role in all of that. So it is not an accident that sound is part of it. And you will know for yourself either sound is important for you in regards to music or you make your own sound, you sing, you play instruments. So it is very important. Consciousness is fed in a way by sound, by frequency. And so the next step of consciousness architecture is obviously that we start teaching it and the first time we teach is in the summer school starting on the portal day of the 12th of the 12th 2023 still receiving it is not patrick it is not ceci it is not sonic song cross it is how we are allowed to align in this amazing harmonic frequency and yes, this is harmonic states of being. Through these harmonic states of being, we have access to this consciousness architecture. So it is what is always there. Consciousness is boundless, infinite. It's not conscious mind or unconscious mind. Consciousness is what fills energy, what fills all that what we are doing. And slowly, I'm not pretending we know it all, slowly we are getting this access the more we are aligning in this divinity to source spirit soul and self and so there will be a new expression coming up as well which is the self sync so it is advaita and it is all the good stuff that we have already learned but there is more to it and it's just coming and it's just expanding. So yes, architecture then, once we have this alignment. So you could also translate it on some levels. Once we align to the divine feminine again, we have access to build again, which is of course the divine masculine, the architect. We can build without alignment. We can build without harmony. But when we are truly connected in this consciousness architecture that is way beyond us, then we build from the heart and in harmony. So this is the next level. Thank you for being here and thank you for being part of what is coming. We are all in this. The access is available to everyone. It is not an exclusive matter. As long as we have a soul and a heart, we have access. And as long as we are actually in this physical body, 
because this physical body also plays a role in this whole ascension, in this whole new age, new paradigms that are coming in. But they are just, if you wish, the superficial, not superficial as in not important, but these are the outside, the outside energies that are allowing us to come back into this amazing consciousness, ever evolving, perpetual, boundless. And consciousness architecture is one of the things, the theories that are not theories anymore, the guides, the cosmic guides that take us there. So very excited to have you here. Let me know in the comments how that goes for you. And there is much more to come. And I hope to see you in the summer school on consciousness architecture. Much love from my heart to yours.